So now here's the fun bit. And we're actually going to be doing something which is outside of websites and Elementor and WordPress and everything. We're going to create a logo and get hold of some images as well. There are plugins that you can on, add on to WordPress, which connect to things like um, Pixel Bay and stuff like that, where you can add on images directly onto your website. But I prefer to have a bit more freedom and take my time on looking for what I want. So we're going to use Canva.com. It's free. But if you want to keep a copy of your designs like I've got down here so that I can access them whenever I want in future, you do need to register and you might need to go for a premium account, which is about $10.99 in British pounds a month. It is well worth it for the amount of stuff you can access on here. But again, up to you what you want to go for. I'm just going to go over here and I'm going to create a logo. OK, so we have a 500 by 500 pixel um, uh, canvas. We can resize this so I could make it wider with a thousand pixels in width and 500 in height. In fact, what I really want to do is actually make it smaller in height. So I'm going to leave it at 500 width. I want to change it to only be about 150. No, we'll go with 200. About 200 in height. OK, so that is now going to resize it. So I've got this light little bit of a canvas there to work on. OK, I'm just going to get rid of these canvas windows we've got here. And now I can decide what I want to do. I mean, if you go and do that for your logo, that's now going to be your logo. And if you've got that on your screen, it might not look right. So be careful what you do and add on here. Um, if you want to add on any elements, I might want to say a circle. I might want to have my lo I might want to have something like this on my logo and then a bit of text and words alongside it. Again, do what you want. I'm just going to go for really simple here. I'm just going to add in a header. I'm just adding an example one there. Uh, I quite like Glacial Indifference. It's one of my favorite ones I tend to use. I'm just going to increase the size of this to be about, I need to do this right there. There you go. So I've just increased the size of this to be there. Don't worry about all the white space above and below. I will show you how in WordPress we can get rid of that. So you can just create it and then it can be used in many, many different ways. So I'm going to call this, in fact, you know what? We'll leave it as Dazzle. We're just going to leave it as Dazzle, OK? I might never call it Dazzle. It sounds a bit weird. I'm going to call it Light Bulb, OK? I'm now just going to go over to my effects and just change the letter spacing so it just fits all on one line. Uh, about, about there will do. Yeah, OK. Now I can decide, is my text going to be black, white, whatever I want to do? So I'm just going to change this to be white. Why? Because I'm going to add this onto a darker text colour later on on the website. So in fact, let me go back a step. Let me just put this back to black. OK, that is it. That's just my logo. There's there's nothing really amazing going on there. It's just a very plain logo. If I want to add in something else behind it. So let me just add in um, bold. Circle bold. Let's go for bold. Let's just go for this light bulb here. I could go here, right click, center back, and I could position this now to be you know, however I want to have it on my website. You know, you play around with it. You decide how you want to have it look. There's so many different designs and varieties and things you can do. I'm now just going to title this, call it light bulb black. OK, and I'm going to download this as a PNG. That's because I wanted to maintain the quality of the image. If you download as a JPEG, sometimes it slightly pixelates and you don't want to be converting it to a JPEG until you're actually in WordPress. So I've got that image there. I'm now going to click this and I'm now going to convert this to be white text, which you can't see because it's white text. But I'm now going to go over to download. Well, first, let me rename it and say white and I'm going to call it transparent. Transparent. There we go. Transparent. OK, and I'm going to click download and I'm going to click the transparent background. So white text, but it will be a completely transparent background okay so i'm going to download that that means i could put that logo on top of an image or somewhere and it will now have a transparent background which i think is quite cool okay cool so now we've got that so we've got our logos that i'm going to use on the website however if i now just go back to my black designs so i'm just going to undo this for a moment and have this here we need to now have a square design which is going to be visible in the favicon. So can you see at the top of your website, wherever you are, there'll be a little image next door to the, uh, the, the, the site title. And it might be a little square image or a circular image. That's your favicon. 
that's also going to be the image that is presented when people share your website on social media. So what we're going to do is we are going to go to file and we're going to make a copy of that design there. This is the copy and I'm going to call it a light bulb black and I'm going to say square. You call it whatever you want. I'm going to resize this for a moment and change it to 500 by 500. So it's now going to resize it. Let me just get rid of the text there. So light bulb black square. I'm now going to go to file and I'm going to say show margins and I'm just now going to reposition this to be within the margin. OK, just bear in mind some sometimes when you add some items to social media or whatever, it starts to circulate them or cuts the slice off. So I'm going to shrink this just a little bit more and I'm now just going to center center it. And I could add a bit more color onto this, if I'm honest, you know, I could add a backing color of let's just go for a yellow or whatever you want to do and add in another, you know, look, here's examples of things you could do. You could add lots of designs, but bear in mind, this is going to be quite small. So have a think about social media images and what you want in your favicon. Let's leave that like that. And we are now going to download that image as well. Now, while we're here in Canva, OK, I'm going to go back to Canva.com. And I am going to go to desktop wallpaper because this is where I'm now going to get hold of some images that we can use on our website as well. So I hit desktop wallpaper. This is 1920 by 1080. Change the size. and you know, you can create a completely bespoke images, add lots of images on. You can add some text as well, but that's not always a good idea for responsive websites. You could add in photos and videos as well. Videos can add a bit of slowness to your website, but you know, bear in mind, don't add in videos that are major, major, big, like 20, 30 megabytes. I'm gonna add in a photo and I'm gonna type in light bulb. Okay, and we're gonna see if there's any images on here I like. So here's an image I found and I'm going to use this. I'm just going to drag it over. I can either drag it over individually, well, in the middle and then resize it. Or if I just drop it like so, it just drops it in like that. And that image is fine for me to use on my website. It's going to be one of my banner images. So I'm just going to call this, um, I'm just going to call this web image. I mean, obviously you would give it a proper name. And I'm now just going to download that as a PNG file as well. And what I'm now going to do is just add in some more images. So I'm just going to very quickly just pick a few more, you know, and again, you know, we're just doing an example website here. So we'll take this person as well. I'm actually more interested in the left hand side than the right hand side. And we've got that and we might as well. We'll just take some more images as well. OK, so what we've done is we've now downloaded quite a variety of images to do with light bulb just for the sake of what we're doing here. And when I look at my downloads, here's the original logos. They're quite small, eight, six, eight kilobytes. They're, they're tiny, they're puny, nothing to worry about. But look at all of these images that I've put in. So I've got about uh, seven images at the moment in total. And one of them's not too big, but the rest three megabytes, you know, 3.3. You don't really want to be loading websites that full onto your website. So what you should do is optimize them. And we're going to cover that in the next video.